Hi everyone, Tony from Act the Movies here. I was originally going to do a Halloween H2O work print review, but after watching it, I realized there's not much different in it. It does have John Ottman's score in it, and uh, in their dorm room, instead of watching Scream 2, the girls are now watching So I Married an Axe Murderer with Mike Myers, uh, which is actually kind of funny if you think about it. But yeah, other than that, there wasn't a lot to talk about. Then I found out that there is a TV cut of Halloween H2O that actually has some extra scenes and some ridiculous editing. So let's get into the FX TV version of Halloween H2O. As always, I'm going to talk about the things that I find funny or interesting. I'm not going to dwell too much on little cuts here and there. If you want a full breakdown of this version... There is one on moviecensorship.com. Stay tuned till the end, though, because I will play a little montage of all the funny censored curses. Now let's get into it. If you remember the beginning of the film, Nurse Marion sends Joseph Gordon-Levitt into her house to investigate it after she realized someone broke in. My house was broken into. No shit. No shit. In this version, he still investigates the house, but they cut out the scene of him stealing the beer from her refrigerator. They've completely chopped up the first encounter with Michael Myers. In the film, Marion finds Joseph Gordon-Levitt with an ice skate in his head. She screams and runs to the door where his friend falls on top of her dead. This is where we get the dramatic reveal of Michael Myers. In the TV version, she never finds the boys. They cut right to Michael showing up in the doorway. Her reaction to Joseph Gordon-Levitt's corpse is now used as a reaction to Michael picking up the knife in the kitchen. They even added in a part where she's struggling with the front door. While this is happening, there are awkward shots of Michael walking down a hallway looking for her. There's no shot of her throat being cut, which I expected. It's a TV cut. But now it's kind of confusing. We see her break the window with the golf club, and then she just falls on the floor. If you had never seen this movie before, and this was your first time watching, you would probably be confused and not know how she died. I don't know how she died in this version. She just kind of fell over. Oh, by the way, the FX NASCAR Bush Series racing was postponed when this aired due to weather. Don't worry, though, because it was rescheduled. Now when the mom and the kids show up to the rest stop in their super old car, we get a shot of Michael peeking out of the men's room. It's hard to tell what mask he has in the shot. Did you know there were multiple masks for this movie? It starts with the Halloween 6 mask. Then there is a super pale looking mask made by KMB. They decided to change this late into production, and you could still see it in the trailer and in wider shots in the actual film. They reshot most of the close-ups with a mask by Stan Winston. For one of the reshoots, they CGI'd the Stan Winston mask onto the KMB mask, and it looks ridiculous. Anyway, the movie plays the same until we get to the town outside the school. There is an extra scene of John and Charlie walking around town talking about getting laid. We see that Michael is stalking them in his car. I actually like this. It reminds me of Michael Myers driving around town stalking the girls in the first film. I think they probably should have left it in. The movie plays the same from that point on until we get to Will checking on the girls. Uh, they cut out his pierced nipples line. They cut out most of the lines from this scene. They probably could have just cut out the whole scene. Hit the town, pick up some guys, you know, drop some roofies in their drinks, have a whole date rape evening. Huh. Care to join us? I can't. I'm, uh, I'm having my nipples pierced. Oh. You girls okay? Good. Thanks, Mr. Brennan. If you need anything, contact me or Miss Tate, okay? Speaking of Will, he carves a jack-o'-lantern and tells Lori the story of his mother cheating on his dad and how his dad hated him after he found out. I actually like this scene because he's talking about this dark family thing that happened in his past, which I think would have led well into the next scene when Lori finally confesses her secret to him. They still have Michael chasing Sarah, and obviously they trim stuff out, like her finding her boyfriend's throat slashed, or the close-up of her leg being broken, but the scene of Michael coming in and stabbing her is totally gone. So in this cut, she technically never dies. They don't even find her body. They leave in the setup for the big reveal, and then they cut to John and Molly seeing Michael and running away. And this is actually one of the big problems with this TV cut. I know they're trying to cut out all the gore, but at the same time, they're cutting out all the scares. The sense of dread is completely gone in this version because we rarely see the horrifying results of Michael's actions. 
After Lori knocks Michael off the balcony, she gets him on the first try in this version, they cut out the part where she goes to stab him and is stopped by LL Cool J. Actually, after LL is shot in this TV version, we never see him again. So in this version of the movie, he's just dead. Then we get to the climactic finale. And look, I knew they weren't going to show the decapitation. Like, I, I, I knew that. But I was not prepared for how abruptly this TV version ends. Play the clip. So that is the FX TV cut of Halloween H2O. This one was rough. Uh, I understand cutting out some of the kills or trimming them down. But cutting out a lot of the deaths, like the corpses, the, the, the results of Michael's actions, it really hurts this version of the movie. Uh, you tend not to take Michael seriously as a threat in this version because we don't really see what he can do. It was hard to take him seriously in the first place because his mask keeps switching and the one they use the most shows his dumb eyes all wide. Which, by the way, I want to point this out. The Halloween H2O Scream Factory cover... A lot of people were criticizing the art. I think the art is fine, but they should have definitely put his eyes in there. It, th th This is not the Michael we remember from this movie. Th this is the Michael we remember from this movie. All wide-eyed and goofy. Anyway, that's it for this review. If you like this breakdown of this TV version, go back and check out my breakdown of the Halloween 2 TV cut and the Thing TV cut. I've also been uh, exploring work print cuts. I did Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and Alien 3. Uh, if you're new here, well, check out those videos, like I just said, but also check out every Monday we do a podcast. It's either talking about tapes or hack the movie show. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We talk about a movie new or old. Uh, we get real in depth in it. It's a lot of fun. We have a huge back catalog. You could check out and some more Halloween related stuff. We put out a short parody. Definitely check that out. A lot of work went into that. Uh, on Patreon, we have a whole behind-the-scenes vlog and how we made it, which is really, really cool. Thanks, everyone who watched it and shared it. Recently, on our podcast, we did Best Halloween 2. That was the most recent one that aired. Uh, we covered the three movies that are considered Halloween 2. I think you'll like that. Next week, I'll be doing the work print for Halloween Resurrection, a.k.a. Halloween Homecoming. Uh, I'm real excited to see this. Some of the deleted scenes have been released, but a lot of other scenes are only available in the in these work prints. So I'm going to dive deep into that. And shortly after that airs, I'll be on movie dumpsters channel talking about the actual Halloween resurrection. So much Halloween stuff for spooky season. There's even a Halloween playlist on my channel right now, where you can see all my Halloween videos, new and old. I even threw in Halloween videos. I did on other people's channels like Cinemasca or it's been salad. Uh, so yeah, check all of that out, please like, share, and subscribe, and check out the podcast, and I will see you all later. Bye. No way. No kidding. Shoot. Ah, let me shoot. What? Not you, honey. Hold on for a second. You scared the snot out of me. Fire, honey. I think he's finally tired of my bull crap. Are you tired of my bull crap? What the frick do you think you're doing? Mom, I'm really uncomfortable with you saying that Well, word. then don't put me in the position, John. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.